The Ukrainian military has been reporting in recent days that part of the territories near Bakhmut have been liberated. Although independent observers cannot yet confirm the extent to which these claims are true, the advance of even a few kilometers in a few days is a huge achievement, given that Russian forces have been conquering those kilometers for weeks or even months. Successes, however small, in a battle that has lasted nine months, raise morale among the Ukrainian military, especially given the fact that they were achieved by regular, battle-weary units, not those specially trained for a full-scale counteroffensive. Defense forces advanced 350 meters to 2 kilometers in some places on the flanks around Bakhmut on Sunday and Monday, Sergei Cherevati, spokesman for the Eastern Group of the AFU, said in a televised marathon broadcast. About 20 square kilometers have been recaptured in the north and south in the suburbs of Bakhmut, Deputy Defense Minister Anna Malier wrote in Telegram on Wednesday. Major Alexander Pantserny, commander of the Ader Airborne Assault Battalion, confirmed that Ukrainian forces have retaken the initiative on the flanks, to the north and south of the city, the New York Times, NYT, noted. The successes of Ukrainian forces were also reported last week by the head of the Wagner PMC, Yevgeny Prigozhin. The flanks are crumbling, the front is failing. At the same time, both Cherovati and Malyar note that Russian troops are gradually advancing in Bakhmut itself, continuing to destroy it with artillery fire. The successes of recent days near Bakhmut have boosted morale in Ukrainian units, a military doctor in the 93rd Mechanized Brigade told WSJ, whereas only a week ago his fellow soldiers questioned the need to defend the town. I have hope, he admitted. Krevati spoke out more forcefully. We lured the enemy into the Bakhmut trap. He lost an incredible amount of manpower. And we continue to bleed the enemy. One of the main tasks of the Ukrainian army during the counterattack should be to liberate territories in the south of the country in order to cut off the land bridge from Crimea that supplies Russian troops, military experts say. But Ukraine is unlikely to launch a head-on attack where it is most expected. Last fall, a deceptive maneuver in the south, an offensive near Kherson, on which all attention was focused, allowed a surprise strike to liberate territories in the northeast. If this time Ukraine, for example, starts its large-scale counteroffensive with the liberation of Bakhmut, it will be not only a military defeat for Russian forces, but also an enormous psychological blow. Russian units are handing out leaflets warning of a Ukrainian attack, the WSJ wrote, citing photos shared with it by the Ukrainian military. The attack will be sudden and with 100% probability, at night. Sergeant Roman Trokhymets of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade, which attacked Russian positions near Bakhmut, told WSJ that despite the losses, the mood in his unit is very good. For long months it was defense, defense, defense. It was very hard. Finally we are no longer defensive, and you can see the results.